welcome back my peeps <sighs> gotta make another cake this time it's gonna be bee themed um uh did a whole bee themed thing last year on a live if you want to go back and check that i'll link it down below but i'm gonna do a little something different kind of cake so <clears throat> I got this napkin, right? I got it from from Hobby Lobby, and it's so cute. And I'm gonna make a cake with this. We're gonna like decoupage, cause I don't know if you guys ever seen um, a real cake that was. <clears throat> Excuse me, it had a printed pattern around it. They use like these um what they call them um they sheets of like rice paper and they print on it with edible ink and you can wrap it around the cake. So I was thinking I'm gonna do that. So this is what I did. I got this um round these came from amazon i could post a link to this it come it came with four different size um foam rounds it was less than twenty dollars i think it was an eight a six wait no a ten an eight a six and a four inch round so i did what i did was i took my um my napkin and i opened it up this is like a one ply so you don't have to peel off the layer and uh, I took it and I kind of like went on the edge like this, took a pencil, marked where I want the line to be, and then I cut the strip straight across. Now when you cut this strip, which I did right here like this, so this strip is not going to go all the way around, so you're going to have to cut two strips. Or if you have a bigger foam round, you might need to cut three strips, whatever. So you could get these napkins at Hobby Lobby, like I said. And it comes like 30 in a pack. And if you get it when it's 50% off, you can get this pack for $2. But the, it, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like some little gold like accents on it. But the whole tissue is not gold. So I saved this part. Or the circle that's going to go on top of the cake like that so the nice pretty gold accent parts is going to be on the top okay so um you're going to need the two strips or three strips, however many strips if you buy a pack of these napkins you have plenty of, st of strips so I got my two strips and my round, and um, we're gonna um, we're gonna decoupage that on there, so like that. We could um, then we're gonna decorate it. We're gonna put we're gonna put spackle on on the border. Okay, so. I want you guys to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna come back over here. Oh, and I also made me a cake board, and I used like a honeycomb pattern, and then I put some little bit of gold bling around the edge just to make it, you know, a little nicer. So I never really did decoupage before, and you know, I don't know why, because it seems like it's fun. So this is one thing I did do was. I cut the strip just a little bit taller than this part because I kind of wanted to go on top like that. So when I put my round piece on top, I'll make, it'll be like a clean border. Like there's not going to be any gaps. So keep that in mind when you do that. So I got my Mod Podge. I'm going to use Mod Podge. And I got my Mod Podge glue brush here. And I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on here. Start with that. Make sure I get a good 
surveyor going. And then I'm going to take my napkin and I'm going to get close to the edge. Try to line it up as good as best. Keep it straight. Because one thing, you don't want the, the tissue to get too wet and then you try to lift it up. It's going to tear. So you got to be really careful when you lean it down. And just rub it lightly. Not too hard. This is tissue. Wet glue. So it could tear very easily. Okay. So put some more glue. Just take your time. Just take your time. That's all. This is like my real first time ever decoupaging something but I don't know I saw that well actually the napkin comes from a craft box that I was selling on my Etsy shop but they already sold out it was a bee themed craft box and it had all kinds of bee stuff in there so you could do for your tear trays And, um, like I said, I did a bee themed, we did a live bee themed tutorial last year. I did, like, so many different bee things. We did cupcakes, we did lollipops, we did, oh, a lot. Okay, so let me get this little bit of edge right here. And I'm going to try to connect that other piece. I mean, I got a little extra down at the bottom because I didn't do it perfectly. But that's all right. The one thing about that cabbage is kind of forgiving. So, that's, you know, something not to have to worry too much about. Let's see. I don't need this whole piece. So, I'm going to cut it. But let's see how much I do need. I don't want it to overlap too much, you know. So I think right there, I got my scissor right here. So I'm going to cut. So like I said, I don't want it to overlap ooh, ooh, too much because you can see through the tissue. So I'm just put that over there. And I don't want anything to show through the tissue. Just do this whole piece real quick. And then you're going to take your Mod Pod and you're going to go over. I think I put too much glue. But you know, that's not no real surprise. Now make sure you put your tissue going in the right same direction, okay? So I'm going to just... Oops, <laughs> it's sliding. This is not going on evenly. <sighs> Isn't it like that always when you get to the end of something? Everything was going nicely and then you get to the end of it and that's where all the trouble starts. But I'm not going to worry about that. Too much because this could be the back for all for all I care so now I'm gonna put some on the top right but I want to drag these these corners down I want them to come down because when I put my circle my round piece I kind of want it to just sit right on top you know what I mean so let's do that. I try to make sure that you you can use your finger to bring it down. 
it's just glue don't be afraid to use your fingers it's just glue and I think let's take a look around I think I got a good finish on there so I'm going to come around here and I'm you're going to modify the whole thing again anyway so now I'm going to get my circle and I'm just going to put it right on top and I'm not going to worry about it too much because that's why we was making sure that we got the edges so it looks like we covered the whole thing so now I'm going to I'm going to do the sides first just get you a little bit of Mod Podge because you got to Mod Podge the sides, okay? You use the Mod Podge to glue it down and then you use it to seal it. So you got to go back. I don't really care if it look lumpy, clumpy. I'm not a professional at this, <laughs> but it really doesn't matter to me. And I'm probably going to put. Um, so a little bit of my favorite glitter, you know, the snow, the light glitter. I'm probably just going to put some of that on there. I mean, it's not going to look like, you know, they do put glitter on real cakes too, you know. So. Because I know some people be like, oh, that's not a real cake. But if, if you go and look online, they do. They call them sugar sheets, where they put a design on the sheet and they wrap a cake on it in it. I was thinking, why can't we do that with tissue paper? Right. Don't, don't rub it too hard where you rip the tissue paper, okay? You don't want to do that. Because there's already too much liquid on here. And we don't want to, you know, mess that up. So I'm going to get my glitter. It's very thin and light. And I'm going to put some on here. Because it's going to make it look so pretty. You don't have to put the glitter if you don't want to. But I want to. just gives it a little shimmer it's not like diamond dust or anything it's just a very light shimmer now I'm gonna do the top put some uh, podge on the top now you want to make sure that you get these corners these edges because you don't want them to come up even though we're gonna put spackle on it but you don't want those edges to come up Make sure you go around it. Okay. And now I'm going to put some glitter on here too. Very lightly. And then I'm going to glue this to my own cake board. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to do to the top. But I guess I'll figure that out as I go. So here go my cake board. I want to make sure, and I want to make sure that I put the side where we cut the, it's hard to even see, <laughs> where the two pieces meet. Okay, it's right here. Yeah, right here. So this is going to go on the back. That's my back. And I want to put it down on my. I got my glue gun over here and I'm just gonna lift it up real quick and just put some glue on here oh god this this glue gun <sighs> all right so I already lost it oh no there it goes right there make sure you center it really well 
and just hold it down. Ugh, don't try to, don't touch it too much because you're going to rip your tissue. And we don't want that. We want it to stay intact. Make sure you get your glue webs before you put the spackle down because it will mess up the spackle when you pull the, sh the, gl the glass. I was going to say the glue away from it, okay? So, I think I'm going to let this dry for a second and then I'll be, I'm going to clean up and then I'll be back, okay? Okay, guys, so I'm back. And um, we gonna put a drip on it. It's gonna be, look, I'm gonna put a drip that's gonna look like honey. So what I got is these, these glue sticks. They like yellowish, but when they melt, they look like honey, right? I got this pack from Ace Hardware Store. They have a glue gun section. And they have this glue sticks. You get 24 glue sticks in this pack. And then I got this from Amazon. These are a lot more clearer. These are kind of opaque. Well, these are clear. I don't know if you can see the difference. You should be able to see the difference. You can see the bead through this one. But you can't see the bead through this glue stick. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. Because since the cake is already yellow. I'm going to use the Ace brand one. Um, because the cake is yellow. I want it to stand out. So I'm going to put a drip on it. But I'm going to start my drip like this. And then come up. Right, you see that drip? It's hard to see, but there's definitely a drip there. And I'm gonna not make it too high up because remember, I'm gonna put, I'm going to put some like a border. So with spackle, so I don't want it to be up too high, and then um. It gets covered by the spackle. You can't see the drip. Oh. Just take your time. I don't know. Can you see the drip? Yeah, you can see the drip, right? It's hard, kind of a little hard to see because, like I said, it's against a yellow backdrop. So, it's kind of hard to see. I don't want it to go down too much because if I put it like that, then the drip is going to go all the way down. And that's not what I want. I'm just going to keep on. I'm going to put a drip all the way around. So like these glue sticks, they <laughs> they get used pretty fast. So you're gonna need a couple of them if you do drip or whatever. If you want to put it on the spackle, which we might put a little bit on the spackle. Just take your time putting the drip on this all. And then you're going to let it dry. Hope you can see that drip going on there. But there's definitely drip on there. So now you got to let that dry. Because <clears throat> you want to 
make sure that you grab those all the glue webs all the glue webs before you move on to the next step but while we wait for that to dry so I had a little piece of the napkin left, left over and I took it and I wrapped it around a foam cone and uh, I was thinking I could make a ice cream cone so then I, I made a scoop by hand um, we've done this before with the, um, no, oh, did we do this before by hand? I don't remember. Cause the one with the chocolate, with the skillet, the chocolate chip cookie and the skillet, I made that with spackle. So I'm gonna have to make up, but this is easy. All you do is just take a round ball of clay, smash it down. And then you're going to put like a snake around it. And then you're just going to blend it in. Make it look like a scoop. So I was going to put this. Oopsie. Let me see where the, the seam is right here. So I want to go in the front. And I was going to put. Oh, and I put on top of the ice cream. I don't know if you can see. But these are little bees. Bee sprinkles, a honeycomb. And then other sprinkles are on there. So, I was going to take this and put it on top of here to make an ice cream cone. Like this. You can see it better over here. Like this. I don't know. I just... I just wanted to use up that little piece of um, napkin that was left over because why not? So I decided to make a nice little cone. I don't know. I generally don't do this kind of stuff, but sometimes, you know, you just got to go with it. You know what I mean? I used the whole napkin on this cake and this. And I still had a little piece left over I could use if I wanted to do like a, a, a honey spoon or something like that. Right? I think it's cute. I don't know if you can really see the, um, the little bee on there. Can you see it? It's not focusing well. But it does have a little, is a bee, a little honeycomb. And then I put other sprinkles around it. Let me see if you can see it better now. Well, that's my idea right there. <laughs> With the leftover. But, I also made this. It's a little beehive. And I made it with an egg, one of those Easter eggs, those foam Easter eggs. I just cut the bottom part off, and then I wrapped twine around it. I actually did it on a, on a Facebook Live. I shared how to do this. I'll post a link to that if you want to see it. So I don't know if I was going to put it on the cake after I put the spackle on there. But I know I want to put a little bit of honey on here. Just a little bit, not too much. Like that. I put a little bit of honey on there. I don't know if you can see that. Coming out of the hive. And I actually have some tiny wood um some tiny wood bees that I forgot to bring. But I'm gonna go get as while we let this dry, okay? Okay, so I got the wood bees. I got the wood bees here. This is what they look like. They come in like three different sizes. I got this from Amazon. And they're so cute. You got the queen bee, the little medium sized bee, 
and then there's a, a smaller one than that so I'm gonna use some of these on the cake too so I think I'm gonna stick one on here let's stick one on here one or two I like to take it comes on the back it comes like a little glue dot I like to take it off all right so let's see I'm gonna put one right here I'm gonna put the big one there like that you see that and then I'm gonna put the little one over here because the the queen bee one I think is too big to go on here I think it'll look it won't look right proportionally and there you go you see the two little bees in your hive with the honey dripping out of it so I don't know how I'm gonna use this but let's try it I also have a sprinkle mix that I made and it has like all kinds of stuff it has little tiny bees so I don't know if you can see that little bee. It has honeycombs. It has yellow bees, black bees, all kinds of different coordinating. I made this sprinkle myself, but you can find the little bee sprinkles and the honeycombs on Play Code 3. That's where I got them from. So if you want to get you some of those. I'll leave a link. So let's try to. I don't think I'm gonna need any more of these glue sticks. Put them over to the side. I'm gonna put this ice cream cone over here somewhere. And um, let's see. I got my. Bag ready to go. I got my spackle here ready to go, which I dyed it yellow. I use um sunny. I think it's called Sunny Day for the spackle. And I know there's a lot of yellow going on here, but the only alternative was white or black. And I didn't want to put white. So I'm just going to go with this. And we'll see how it turns out. I think it's going to look okay. Put this over here to the side. <clears throat> I'm going to come this way. I really should have got my turntable, which I think I'm going to grab real quick. After I put this icing in this bag, got my turntable right here. And then we put it on there. Okay, I told y'all to grab the glue webs, and then I didn't grab the glue webs. So I'm gonna put a little cap on the front of that and I, I must get all these blue webs out of here it makes it look really bad and not only that if you pull on it after you put your um spackle on it'll mess it up but i think i'm good Let's see look let me just be sure I don't want anything to mess up. Okay. So the tip I have on here is a 1M. It's a 1M tip. You know, the same one we always use for a swirl. I'm going to try not to make it so thick that you can't, I can't see what. Hold on, what? Let me squeeze some of this out. Let's see. You 
I'm gonna lift this up. I'm squeezing and then pulling. Squeezing, pull. Okay? Squeeze, pull. Squeeze, pull. Just to get that border, okay? It's something a little different than what I usually do. But you know what? What they say, variety is the spice of life. And sometimes you gotta change it up. You just gotta change it up. It's all right to do a little something different. Get out of your rhythm. And I also like, some people, they tell me they're scared of, to use spackle or whatever. And so I try to like... Find other ways to decorate a cake. And um, I want everybody to get into the fake bakes. Fake bakes is not just one thing. Fake bake is not just, you know, spackle and whatever. <clears throat> one of the girls that follows me on, well, she comes on here too, but. We interact more and talk more on Facebook. I just found out that she makes felt food. Fake felt food. I was like, what? I always loved looking at felt, felt food. I was like, girl, you need to let me know what your page is. So I could go over there and look at your felt food. Because it's so cute. I mean, some people... Felt food is so realistic. You be like, what? Right? You're going to squeeze, then pull. So I'm going to leave the link to her page. She's on Facebook. She has a Facebook group. And she shows her um, her felt food that she makes. And I'm so jealous because one thing I don't know how to do is so like by hand or with a sewing machine so i'm like oh but felt food is so cute when my daughter was little when i was little i didn't have a play kitchen but when i had my daughter y'all best believe she had a play kitchen and she had all the food you could think of okay she had a blender she had a toaster she had condiments. She had all kinds of food, cakes and cookies. And, and you know what? She rarely played with the. Maybe because she was an only child and she really didn't have nobody play. I mean, she would cook for us and stuff. But you know, it's not the same like when you play, when you have a brother or sister and you play with them. But let me tell you something. When I gave that kitchen away, I was so sad <laughs> because I really, really, really love that kitchen. So, now for the middle, well, first, 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 let me put the tip on this so it don't get dried up, right? And then, <clears throat> I want to put some sprinkles around. Or should I just put glitter around? Well, I'm going to put some glitter anyways. Because you got to have glitter. This cake looks so pretty. It came out better than I imagined. And I love it. See you, Baka. I want y'all to see how pretty this cake is. Let's see if you can see it better down here. You see it? It's so pretty, look. I like it. I really like it. 
So I'm going to take some, I'm going to put some sprinkles around. Or should I leave it like that? You know what, I think I'm going to leave it like that because sometimes sprinkles, it takes away from it. I'm going to leave it like that. But I am going to put, should I put some bees? Oh man, I don't know what to do now. I don't want to do that either. I kind of want to leave it like that. <sighs> um, honestly, I don't know what to do. It's so pretty. I don't want to take away from it. Let me see. Should I put my little beehive in the middle? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put some cream in the middle and just, because I don't, y'all know I can't, I can't be, I can't get, like, some people they do stuff and it just looks so nice and I be scared I'm going to ruin it and that's my problem, like, I don't want to ruin anything so I just don't like to overdo it. Because sometimes when I add too much stuff, it just... Alright, now I got to find my front. Because I don't want to have the front be the wrong. And I think I'm going to just stick my little beehive right in the middle like that. What y'all think? Because I don't want to do too much. I always, like whenever I do too much, it just... It just takes away from... I'm going to go around and add some more. I could ruin something real quick. By, like, thinking it needs this and it needs that. Then afterwards, I have regret. I don't want to regret it. So I'm going to just leave it alone. I even think that cream that I just put is too much. But... It is what it is, right? You live and you learn. You live and you learn. I'm going to just put... Wait, I even got the thing open. Make sure I get that glitter up in there. You know? I don't know if I should put... any bees around <clears throat> that's the only thing I, I, I don't know about you. I don't want to put too many I'm about to put a bee there on the outside near the beehive I think I could do that I just I just oop, knock the bees down I'm gonna put a queen bee on the outside a queen bee like right there like right here. Well, that bee does look cute though. <clears throat> I just don't want to do too much to it. I'm a minimalist. Guys, if you want to put more than I did, go for yours. I'll just be scared I'm going to mess something up. So I don't, I don't like adding ex too many things. But, I think this came out pretty cute. <clears throat> right? I love it. I think it came out pretty cute. Got the honey drips on the side. And, uh, this, that's it for me. <laughs> So guys, and I, don't forget the cone. Got the cone here that I made with the leftover tissue. I mean, it's decoupage. You can put this on anything, right? Ooh. So guys, 
If you make one of these, please tag me so I can see it. Like I said, I got the tissue paper from Hobby Lobby. And the beehive is just a egg, a foam egg wrapped, I wrapped twine around it. The little bees came from Amazon, which I'll post a link. And that's it. And I hope you guys like it. And if you do make one, please tag me so I can see it. And uh, I hope you really do make one. So until the next time, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting, and I will talk to you real soon. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Nah, not subscribe. <laughs> comment, like, and share this video. And if you aren't a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss out. Hit that bell for a notification whenever a new video uploads. And you'll be down with the peeps, with my peeps. Anyway, guys. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.